just met the perfect woman. She's funny. She's beautiful. She loves Star Wars. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's her take on Ewoks? Loves them. Oh, good. I don't know why people are so cynical about Ewoks. The rebellion would have failed without the Ewoks. <laughs> we'll get this. Uh, what, we'll need fake names? Um, you can call me Buttercup. Pleased to meet you, Buttercup. I'm Lando Calrissian. <laughs> You know that scene in Empire where they lower the helmet onto Darth Vader's head? Do you think that's how Sandy puts his hair on in the morning? You just insulted someone I hate by referencing something I love. Damn, you just got even hotter. You can never tell Marshall. I won't. Ever. Swear. Swear on the lives of your unborn boy and girl. I swear on Luke and Leia. Hey, what's going on? Looks like they're camping out for something. Yeah, but for what? I don't know. Usually there's a stormtrooper or a Klingon in line to give you some indication. Hmm. And you Marshall, there's a very real chance that we're going to be snowed in here for days. If I die first, do whatever you need to survive. Eat my flesh, slice me up like a tauntaun, whatever. Thanks, Ted. You're a good friend. Walk of shame, walk of game, what up? Okay, let's go one more. I don't know. You know you want to. All right, let's do it. I just gotta call Robin real quick. Oh, so that's what it's gonna be like from now on. No, oh, okay, okay. You call your old lady and ask permission to have fun. Me, I will be at the snack shack eating our victory onion rings Han style. Solo. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Marshall Erickson and Lily Aldrin. Oh, oh does it make you kind of sad that we don't share the same last name? You know, in a totally evolved 21st century kind of way, yeah, a little. Oh, you know what we should do? We should come up with a whole new last name. Oh, well, that's easy. Lily and Marshall Skywalker. This is Barney. I met him the other day. He's kind of a jackass. I'm teaching Ted how to live. And, lucky you, I have room for one more student. Think of me as Yoda. Only instead of being little and green, I wear suits and I'm awesome. I'm your bro. I'm Broda. And tonight, you're gonna use the force to get the hottest chick in this bar into bed. He's gonna use force? Because that sounds wrong, Broda. <laughs> no, the. Force. It's a Star Wars reference. So we should make lots of Star Wars references around girls? That's what you're saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna ch Oh, come on. I'm sorry that we told you, okay? It's part of being in a relationship. Eventually, you get used to these annoying little things that bug you at first. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you got used to Lily's loud chewing, right? <laughs> Lily doesn't chew loudly. Dude. Come on, this isn't news. Why do you think I call her Chewbacca? I assume because she's loyal, wears shiny belts, and I resemble a young Harrison Ford. What about you? Uh, my dad took me to an old drive-in to see the original Star Wars. You know, I've actually never seen Star Wars. She's never seen Star Wars? Ted, the only people in the universe who haven't seen Star Wars are the characters in Star Wars, and that's because they lived them, Ted. That's because they lived the Star Wars. You gotta calm down. I told you. I told you you didn't know this girl well enough. What if... If you show it to her and she doesn't like it. Dude, it's just a movie. Ted, Star Wars is your all-time favorite movie, and whether or not Stella likes it is actually important. It's like, it's a test of how compatible you guys are. Marshall, it's just a movie. It's just a movie. OK, if Stella doesn't like this movie, I can't marry her. No, you can't. You want to watch it again? Yes, I do. I just thought it'd be fun to watch a movie tonight, and since you've never seen Star Wars, I figured, why not? No big deal. It's pretty good. Sounds like a plan. Hmm. Hey, we should grab a beer. You want one? Um, <clears throat> the movie's already started. You so? Yeah, it's just some words flying through space. I mean, I'm not gonna read that anyway. Oh, my God. Off to a bad start. <laughs> what are you doing down there? I'm making sure my best friend is marrying the right woman. That's what I'm doing. Ted, Ted, you gotta get mad right now. Come on. 
Dig deep! Dude, come on, this isn't about me waving my arms, stamping my feet, and getting really mad. This is about Stella and I finally communicating. I mean, clearly that was- Stella hated Star Wars! She lied to you! Search your feelings, Ted, you know it to be true. Well, that's her business. Come on! I am not impressed with the talent in here tonight. And the more I drink, the less attractive they get. I am one scotch and soda away from the cantina scene in Star Wars. What about those girls? Now, uh, go easy on me. It's a work in progress. Ted, this is amazing. The detail, the shading, the playfulness of the lines. This is exactly what Princess Leia would look like topless. My way of saying thanks. So, uh, you want to see my designs for the building? No, I'm good. Dude, fighting is for losers. We're civilized guys. Civilized guys don't fight. Unless it's with lightsabers, but that's like three to five years away, so. Well, that's not true. Robin, I'm on the forums every day. Three to five Thanksgivings from now, I'm gonna be carving the turkey with old green. No, I'm saying there. That guy's freaking crazy. <laughs> It is so good to be home. Mom, Lily, fantastic job. Good food, good meat, good God, let's eat, right? Okay, here we go. Goggles on. All right, so you guys pass the plates. Lily, you want water up. We'll get one. Oh, thank God you're still here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Star Wars, but it's like Hoth out there. Dibs. <laughs> it reminds me of what... Who else? Remember that weird sci-fi girl who wanted you to propose after like two months? You barely even liked her, but you were still thinking about it, so... Listen, Ted, you're great, and this is so difficult. But I think we're looking for different things. So, live long and prosper. Whatever. <laughs> that was you? This is insane! Ted, I did- School. So, Barney, great to hear from you after all this time. What's been going on? I've had sex with 200 women. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that's way too many. I mean, that's just gross. Have you sought counseling for sex addiction? Because you're a prime candidate. Uh, have you sought counseling for I win, you lose? <laughs> yeah. Suddenly those hundred girls you nailed in the seventh grade aren't so impressive. Hundred girls? Is that what this is about? Barney, I lied. Sure you did. I was 12. Of course I was lying. I didn't have a pet Ewok either. Sure you didn't. <laughs> <laughs>